Let's go to the social media category in the Gal Toolkit and then to X. Here you can see there are several types of elements for X, including designs for promoting your profile, as well as some interesting posts, which you can customize and set up really quickly for your videos. Let's apply this white version and start editing. Let's select the template in the timeline and then go to customize it. Let's start by editing the text in the change text section. Once you're done adding your text, you can also delete lines to create a more compact look. And you can also adjust the font if you like. You may have noticed that this tweet has an adaptive design, meaning that the box adjusts to the size of the text, and this will save you time. But you can always fine tune the dimensions of the box yourself using the box section. You can adjust the width using this slider or even the height. And better yet, you can adjust the padding using these X and Y values. Lastly, you can use this roundness slider to adjust how round you want the corners to be. In the color section, you can change the color theme to dark. For example, if you have a light background. In this case, let's switch it back to light. Now let's replace the photo with our own. Let's drag the image into the replace media section and adjust the size and position if necessary. But you can also adjust the size in the placeholder section, which we will get to in a minute. If you go to the tweet text section, you can adjust the size of the tweet, the position, and even the tracking if you like. Or there's even a line spacing parameter. You have a lot of options here to change. Another useful customization is the icon section. You can use the slider to adjust the gap between all the icon shapes. And in the placeholder section, you can easily adjust the scale and position of the photo inside the circle mask. And don't forget that there's also a drop shadow effect. Here you can change the color of the drop shadow depending on your scene. You can also adjust the distance and opacity. This can make it look like a glow effect if you're using white on a black background. And here's what the final animation looks like. So I hope you found this video useful. If so, give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out the other videos on this channel. See you next time.